before I even had this nice, clean, almost organized closet openness. I only had one hole right there that I could hang up my clothes and stuff. It was not easy. My dad's going to show you how to do a beautiful closet. So this currently is my daughter's closet. It's a double door. You can see there's a door on this side and a door on this side. And currently what she has is just a 12 inch wide hang on the wall type rod shelving. Now that we got the shelf out, the old shelving out, now we need to repair all these holes that got put put in the wall and then there's some other scuff up spots so how you do that is you take a hammer and you pound you dent, dent those holes in that's how you repair those I got myself some some drywall compound some call it sheet rock there's no special kind and then you just mud the hole shut. Like you don't need fancy, fancy spatulas to do something this simple and small. We're gonna let that dry. Then we're gonna sand it off. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and put in the first shelf. Yeah, I just went to Lowe's and got a 96 inch long piece which is eight foot, 16 inches wide, and just put a backing strip on there, and that part's gonna screw to the wall. So there you go. There's the top shelf in the closet. So I think we're gonna make this top shelf 20 inches from the ceiling, and the reason why I would pick that is when you look down 20 inches down, you have a you don't have a lot of room here from the opening of the of the ceiling so we're going to go ahead and make a mark here the 20 inches over here on this side i'm going to mark it 20 inches and over here on this side of the right side of the room i'm going to mark it at 20 inches and then on the right side of the end of the shelf i'm going to mark it 20 inches now we need to figure out where the studs are. Hear how that sounds? So probably right there is where a stud is. And as I explained earlier, when I put this together, I put a three inch wide strip on the back. That's gonna be below below my mark so what i'm going to do is right here where i was figuring out where the drive or the stud is i want to mark up 20 inches there too so i know where i'm at anyhow three inches down is where the bottom of the strip's going to be you don't have to go buy a fancy stud finder but you can if you'd like but this area right here i'm going to drill a hole my drill with a screw and make sure the studs there and the reason why I'm doing it between those three inches because that shelf's just going to cover that hole up anyway so if you miss it's not a big deal and we hit the stud that's where we hit the stud the studs are 16 inches so I'll make a mark over here 16 that's where I'm going to put one screw and over here on this side, I'm going to measure over uh, 48. I'm going to make another mark, and that's where I'm going to put the other 
stud. And I like to use three and a half inch screws outside exterior screws and then it has these um, Torx and usually they come with with the bit. So we made a mark up here and from the wall for this stud this hole is it's 32 and a quarter inches from the wall. So what I'm going to do is make a mark here 32 and a quarter inches. That way I know where the screw hole is going to be. It's going to go into the stud. And then from this hole to this hole was 48 inches. So what I'm going to do is start another screw at 48 inches here. And then I'm going to get those two, two uh, screws started a while. That way it makes it a little bit easier whenever I get that up there, especially when I'm working by myself. Screw in there. Put the screw in here. And you, now that I had the shelf up there, I'm holding it up there, and then I'm just going to run the screw in. Okay. And then I'm going to go in over here on this side. Run that screw in. I used this same trick of drilling holes in the wall right here to try to find because it sounded like there was a, a stud right there you can kind of hear a different sound well of course there's not a stud there but no worries about the holes we did find a stud right here in this corner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of wood that goes the whole way to here instead of stopping right here so I'm going to cut a piece the whole way over on the opposite end I'm going to do the same thing and now I got that board in and I got it plumb and I always like to drill a pallet hole especially when I'm close to the edge like this with the eighth inch power hole. So I'll take and drill that, drill that out and that prevents splitting. And we got the, the plumb. So now we're gonna run in the screw. And you might be asking how I get this plumb and since there's no studs along here, how we get this tight so what we're going to do is i'm going to go drill some pallet holes and put three screws in the top from up top of here down into this strip and that'll tie that that'll tie that all together and give it strength all right we got the shelf only fully secured in we got a screw hole in the left front there and then i got a screw hole here every 16 inches we got one put in and then of course right there and then the tops I have four screws in there I said I was going to put three in but we put four in in the same way with the other side now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut a board down and screw it screw it up on top come out to about right an inch from the end and put a board down here and I'm going to build that up. Next step is I will fill in these holes in the wood with some drywall compound. When that dries we will sand that off. Out in the garage we're going to cut two boards one for each side for the shoe shelves and put a couple boards in between now we made lines to put these shelves all 10 inches apart and we marked each board and now Levi is going to put the screws in. We put five on each side and we use regular drywall screws. Countersink them in just so that it's a little bit below the wood. The shelves that we built downstairs in the garage and kind of propped them up at the bottom and noticed that we need to notch this corner out so that, that strip against the wall can can pass the next thing what we do after we built this these they're called blue hawk they come from lowe's so you don't have to buy extra and then waste. I cut off 
23 inches off of the end of that and I'm going to install it back here and that's where we're going to position the centerpiece and you want to give yourself about a, a quarter inch on each end to keep it this way and then this side is going to be put up here and it should be just perfect about a quarter inch short on each end that's where that's going to go next we decide we're going to since we're about done for the day is Monday's holes shut that way they can dry overnight from this I cut four inches off so I have about five inches space here that way we can run the vacuum cleaner in here and the day comes when we want to put in a new carpet we have room to work with putting in a new carpet too now we have this 23 inch piece and we're going to measure 23 inches and then we got to add a quarter inch on about a quarter inch overall so we want 23 and a quarter and this is where we're gonna put the center shelving at now after we mark the back I lifted this whole shelving unit up and then I put marks where the front of the shelving is on each side I put marks there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start two screws one on each side that way when I hold that up there I can run the screw in to hold and like we did up top when we found the stud I put these two braces underneath like we talked about earlier and I mark it from the wall over here over to this mark and it's 32 inches where the stud is so I'm going to throw a, a screw in there and one down under here but first before I do that I want to put the level along here just to make sure that it is level and plumb the top then we run some screws in the top to help draw it up tight see how that's pulled up now we got to pull it up nice and tight very nice now you might be asking about the gap and stuff in there we're going to take care of that later i'll show you how that's being done with my mark here inside that's where the the nail's going to go because that's the stud over here i made a mark i held this over to where I put the level up on the side to make it plumb. Now I'm going to screw in a long screw into that stud here and then down under here. Now we have that screw in on that shelf, this screw in on that shelf. And when you check, check for this, it is plumb. And that's all in tight. It all looks good. Now we're going to go to the next step. And now on top and and the shelf down through the center for the shoes is installed now. So this was the end of part one. Subscribe so you can get the notice for when part two comes in when we going to finish everything and make everything look good.